What is up guys and gals of the internet? I am the Brony King and it's been a while. I haven't posted a video on this channel in about three months. So I felt it was finally time to post another video. Today I have a WWE related video for those of you who care. Because I don't think my WWE videos do as good as some of my other videos. But whatever, I enjoy making them. This weekend we have WWE Pay-Per-View TLC, Tables, Ladders, and Chairs. So I will be making a prediction video excuse me, for all the matches, who I think will win, and what championships will change hands, if they do at all. So, let's get started with the match cards. So, starting up, we have the, champ the WWE Champion, Daniel Bryan, will be defending his WWE Championship against the phenomenal AJ Styles. Pretty neat figure. Um, I want neither of them to win. AJ Styles, I feel we don't need him as champion again. We need a new champion. Not Daniel Bryan, though. Daniel Bryan is cheap. He uses low blows to win. It's how he beat AJ Styles, how he almost beat Brock Lesnar. Just, we don't need it. So, I want neither of them to win. But if I had to choose one, I would choose AJ Styles. Alright, next up, we have the first ever women's TLC match. This is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. We have the SmackDown women's champion the Irish last kicker Becky Lynch defending her SmackDown Women's Championship against uh, I don't remember her nickname Charlotte Flair and the Empress of Tomorrow Asuka, I have the monster Asuka um I want Asuka to win they kind of screwed her over after she lost to Charlotte at Wrestlemania and I feel that she really deserves this title um, especially since she would have it right now if it weren't for James Ellsworth. James Ellsworth screwed her over at two or three, I believe it was three separate times. He need to stop that. He's fired. He's not in the WWE anymore. He's not, she's not facing Carmella. So, I believe Asuka can win, and I really want her to win. So, I believe Asuka will win, and I really want her to win. Next up, we have the Raw Women's Championship. We have the baddest woman on the planet. Ronda Rousey, the Raw Women's Champion, defending her title against the irresistible force, Nia Jax. Um, this one is a bit tricky. Ronda Rousey almost beat Nia Jax um, at Money in the Bank, but Alexa Bliss hit her with a briefcase, and so Ronda won via DQ, but she didn't win the title. And now, Nia Jax has Tamina in her corner. I don't think Ronda gets anyone in her corner. Except maybe, like, Ember Moon. Because, like, Natalia's not going to be up to do it because she's got a match later in the night. So, my pick to win would be Ronda Rousey. But I could really see Tamina interfering and giving Nia the win. So, I want Ronda, but I could really see Nia Jax pulling through with a cheat move. Next up, we have the Intercontinental Championship match. We have the Intercontinental Champion, The Architect. Seth Rollins versus the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. This one's a bit tricky. We all know that Seth is not going to be 100% at his match because of what Dean has put him through. However, I do believe that Seth can pull a victory on Dean as long as he stays on top of his game. If he loses sight of what's of what's in front of him, he will lose. Ambrose will capitalize and Seth will no longer be Intercontinental Champion. Um, which I don't want. I, w I want Seth to win this. But I could see Seth the Motions getting, the um, getting ahead of him or Dean cheating in some way to win. I want Seth and I could really see Seth winning but I could also see Dean winning. Next up we have the next TLC match of the night. We have the General Manager Elect Baron Corbin versus the Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman. This match is kind of a big one for the night. If Braun Strowman wins, Baron Corbin has to step down from being general manager elect, and Braun Strowman is. Wait, did I? I think I might have said Braun Strowman has to step down as general manager elect. Baron Corbin has to step down as general manager-elect. 
and Braun Strowman is guaranteed a title opportunity against Brock Lesnar for the Universal title at the Royal Rumble. But, if Baron Corbin wins, not only does Braun lose that opportunity, but he becomes permanent general manager of Monday Night Raw. Which is not a good thing. And so this could go two different ways. Braun is out on injury right now. So, if he doesn't show up, Corbin wins via forfeit. So I could easily see that happening. But I could also see Baron Corbin... You'll be like, yo, I win via forfeit, and then Braun Strowman coming out. And Baron would either lose, get his, get his crap kicked in, or taking severe advantage of his injured arm. Um, we don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm really hoping for Braun. I could really see him winning, but I'm not 100% sure. Next up, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. A triple threat. We have the Tag Team Champions, The Bar, versus The Usos, versus... I only have one of these guys, so I can't find the other one right now. The New Day. I got Biggie. I like Biggie. Um, I want The Usos to win. I think they need another title run. But I could really see The Bar and The New Day winning. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one because it's not as important to me. But I would love to see the Usos win. Next up, we have the Scottish Psychopath, Drew McIntyre, versus the ordinary man who does extraordinary things, Finn Balor. He's my Universal Champion. Um, I want Finn Balor to win this. You have no idea how much I want him to win this. He is my favorite wrestler of all time. However, he has been stopped by the Claymore more than once. Um, and I don't believe Finn has beaten Drew McIntyre yet. I, I could see him doing it. I could really see him doing this. But I'm not sure he'll be able to when the time comes. I'd love to see it, but I got a feeling Drew McIntyre has this in the bag. Sorry, Finn. I really like you. And I would love to see you win. I really think you can win. But I have a feeling Drew McIntyre will pull some, and he'll win. Next up, we have Elias versus Bobby Lashley in a ladder match. I hate to say it, Elias is going to lose. I have a feeling that Elias is going to lose. I really want him to win. I love this. The songbird is awesome. I love Elias. But, well, Bobby Lashley's got Leo Rush. Leo Rush is going to interfere. And ladder match means no DQ. So... So, I'm not sure. I would love to see um, Elias win, but with Leo Rush, I'm not sure. Also, I would like to point out that uh, because ladder matches are usually either Money in the Bank or a title match, I was a little confused on what they're going to be hanging above the ring. A guitar is going to be hanging above the ring. It's going to be beautiful. Anyway, next up we have in a tables match... Natalia, the daughter of Jim the Anvil Neidhart, the li the late Jim the Anvil Neidhart, and Ruby Riot, leader of the Riot Squad. Please, dear God, Natalia, put her through a million tables. Ruby Riot needs it. She has been endlessly mocking Natalia and the death of Jim the Anvil Neidhart. That is not okay. Not in the slightest. That's all I have to say on that. Natalia beat Ruby Riot to a pulp. I, I don't know if you can tell. I don't like Ruby Riot. Next up, we have Rey Mysterio, one of the best luchadors to ever step into a wrestling ring, versus the legend killer, the Viper, Randy Orton. Um, my vote's Rey Mysterio. I love Randy Orton. He's a legend. And he's a legend killer. Rey Mysterio is a legend himself. He's the giant slayer. And I don't... I think he can... He, he beat Randy Orton in the first round of the World Cup. So I truly believe he can pull a victory here. I could see Randy winning. But I would prefer to see Rey Mysterio win. 
So next up, by the way, I'd like to put out that was a chairs match. Next up, we have the WWE Cruiserweight Championship, the champion Buddy Murphy versus Cedric Alexander. My vote is Cedric Alexander. But I feel Buddy Murphy will win. I want Cedric Alexander to win. Not much here. I'm not I don't really pay much attention to 205 Live. But whatever. Next up in our final one, we have the final round of the WWE Mixed Match Challenge. One male superstar, one female superstar is a tag team. The winner gets a paid vacation and a guaranteed number 30 spot in the Royal Rumble next month. Our final two teams are Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox versus R-Truth and Carmella. My vote? R-Truth and Carmella. I don't want Carmella to win the Royal Rumble. I love Carmella now that she's face. She is no longer a complete and total jerk, but I don't want her to win. My pick for the Women's Royal Rumble is Bailey, but that's just because she's my favorite. Our truth, however, I, I, he is one of my picks to win the Men's Royal Rumble, especially if he wins this, because we have seen him do literally nothing since, his, since the Golden Truth. Ever since that tag team broke up, he has been sadly irrelevant, and I really hate that. So my hope is that R-Truth and Carmella can pull a win here, but Alicia Fox and Jenna Mahal have cheated their way this far. What's going to stop them from cheating in the finals? So, without further ado, my pick is R-Truth and Carmella, and I believe they can win as long as Jenna Mahal and Alicia Fox get caught in their cheating. So those were my predictions for WWE TLC. I'm really excited to see how many of these I got right. I will be making a follow-up video um, once TLC is out to let you know, just to point out how good I did with my predictions. Um, so if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, check out some of my other videos if you want to. Make sure to check out my friends' channels too. And let me know in the comments if for some reason you want to see a video all around these guys. My figures. I don't know why you would. But hey, maybe maybe you want to. I don't know. I'm running out of things to record. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I just tried to end the video with my mouse, and I'm recording this on my phone. Mmm.